you just never expect it's going to happen to you. But on this day, bang, out of nowhere. Last thing I was expecting. And it was just a normal Monday. I'd been at work all morning and decided that it would be nice to go home, have lunch with my little boys and my husband. And after lunch, I got back in the car and was driving down the same road I drive down every day to get to work. And round came a lorry. He was slightly wide of the the line, so I slammed on my brakes and I went into a skid and just smashed right into him. While skidding towards him, certainly time went very slowly and I had a kind of series of reactions, one of which was, this is it, see you later, goodbye. And on the other hand, a sort of determination that, no, you can't die now, you can't, you've got your boys, you've got your family, you've got too much to do, <laughs> it's not the right time. And I, then. What seemed like about half an hour later, I smashed into him, broke my neck and several bones in my right hand leg, my hip and my femur and my ankle. I remember being in the helicopter and I remember seeing their red jumpsuits and I just remember feeling like everything was gonna be all right. I, like, they were really reassuring. The fact that they were able to fly a doctor directly to me on the roadside to be able to operate on my leg there, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't be walking. I wouldn't, I may not be here. I certainly wouldn't be able to be the mum that I would like to be to my little boys. And I'm really grateful for that. And if it wasn't for the air ambulance, my quality of life now could be a very, very different picture. And I wouldn't be able to spend the time with my children, walk, run around, do all the things, be back at work, driving, all of the things that I can now do thanks to that level of expertise I got at the roadside. It was only after I got out of hospital that we realised that the air ambulance works purely on charitable donations, 100% charitable donations. And you go about your day thinking that these things are all taken care of by the NHS or the government or whoever, and you don't give it much thought until the day it happens to you. And I am incredibly lucky that there are so many people willing to be generous and donate to them so that they can continue to do the amazing work that they do. On the one hand, you, get, you know, life is fragile and life is, can be taken at any point, but at the same time, you can survive an extraordinary huge ordeal and you can get through it, but you need the right care and that's what I was lucky enough to get. I drive past the spot that it happens every day on my way to work and on my way back and I'm reminded how grateful I am to the crew of the Air Ambulance for enabling me to be as well as I am today. Every time we see a helicopter, my little boys will go, oh, mommy's helicopter, is that, is that your helicopter? And we talk about how um, amazing Dr. Simon Wood was. They might not like being called heroes, but to me, they are. And they always will be, to me and my family.